All right, guys, here is our writing worksheet for Tuesday, April 21st. Obviously, what we do first is write our first and last name. Oh, for some reason, it just does not want me to write my name sometimes. And I can't believe I left my S off of my last name in my first video. Okay, <laughs> so let's go ahead and preview the topic for this writing sheet. Okay, so right here, it's giving us another sentence starter. Now we see a pencil up here, so this is not going to be an opinion piece. This is not talking about how we feel about something, but we are going to write about this word is a butterfly, which is so great because we definitely took a field trip earlier this year talking about the flight of the butterfly. Butterflies. So we know all about how butterflies come to be in their life cycle and how the monarch butterflies and their journey that they took. We saw a flight of the butterfly at the planetarium. So this should be easy peasy. So this word is a butterfly. Down at the bottom, this is egg. And this is caterpillar. This is chrysalis. This is emerging. You see our nice cute butterfly emerging from the chrysalis. And then of course we have butterflies. So with these, right, a butterfly is the first thing that we're going to trace, right? They're giving us the sentence starter. So we just trace over these letters, a butterfly. We trace over those letters and then we're going to put a finger space and then begin our writing. So maybe since we didn't do much writing in our morning work, we can get three sentences out of this. And I know we have a lot to say about these pictures. So maybe I want to say a butterfly um, starts as an egg or a butterfly begins as an egg. So let's see if we can do a butterfly begins as an egg. So a butterfly, finger space, B, B, that's the letter B, B, G, 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 E, 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 I think that's going to be E, B, G, E, N, S, a butterfly begins as, as, A, finger space, egg. E G G. So finger space E G G. Period. All right. So then I would go on to say something like a butterfly begins as an egg. Then um, the caterpillar, caterpillar goes into the chrysalis. The butterfly emerges. The butterfly has big wings. I could talk about any part of the life cycle of a butterfly. I'm not going to write three sentences for you guys because I want to see you guys use um, all of the knowledge you know about butterflies to write. But let's check the sentence that I did give you guys. So let's go up to the top. I can use a capital letter. That's a given because they give you the sentence starter. So I'm going to go ahead and check that off. I can use finger spaces. Did I use finger spaces? Absolutely, I did. I think I hit this one out of the park today. I can sound out words. So any words that I didn't know, did I sound them out? Absolutely. I can give myself a nice big check. I can use punctuation. Remember when we wrote our opinion piece yesterday, um, we they told us to use a period. But since it's not an opinion piece and you're getting to be a little bit more creative, they're asking you just to use punctuation. So it can be a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. So we are going to put our period, and we sure did. And lastly, draw a picture. I'm going to use these pictures as inspiration. Maybe I have some pictures from when we went to the planetarium to see Flight of the Butterflies, and I could draw a pretty picture from there. Um, we made a craft of a butterfly. I could draw a picture of me doing that. So there's a ton of options for you guys here. So this is going to be an exciting one. Y'all know how much I love reading the writing pieces, so y'all keep up the hard work. Thank you.